what's up everybody, OCD Farming here today, and welcome back to Alma, Missouri for a John Deere map tour, yeah buddy. And yeah, we are starting off with uh, a bit more money I think than last time, we have 700,000. Um, and I think a little less land though. Um, I think we had this field last time and maybe these two fields, I don't, I don't remember, maybe these ones too. I don't know. I think we have just one less field. I think we had this one. Any hooser? Um, yeah, so we do have um, three farms, the same as usual, uh, but they are a lot different than uh, the last 20 times. Um, so over here to the east, we have our slurry farm. Um, so we just have cows and pigs, and we also have some honeybees over there as well, and a bit of storage. Um, and then we got our main farm here, dead smack in the middle, and we got our uh, cows, chickens, sheep, and horses over here as well, and a bunch of storage. And then we got over here um, a uh, production farm. That's all it is, and we don't have much over there right now, but yeah. So we'll uh, get to showing you all we have to show you. I will t say that the fields that we have are kind of weird this time around. We have sugar beets in field one, a little cotton in two, um, and then sunflowers. It was the other one that was weird. Um, but yeah, and it looks like we have three, four fields that are ready to go, we, or five fields actually, sorry. Um, so we got a canola field here, uh, two wheat fields up there, another one here, I think. Yeah, and then and an alfalfa uh, field. So yeah, but we will show you what we got so far. Um, we are at the main farm right now, and we do have the farm gate here that we started off with. Um, our farmhouse area is a little different. We have the American farmhouse here in red. Very nice. And then over here we have a little John Deere uh, toolbox thing. It's kind of backwards, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that. I think it's like a workshop trigger, but I'm not sure. I, yeah. Anyways, we got the old garage shed here with a, a little grain body trailer and the uh, super net uh, brusher thing, whatever it is, for the John Deere Gator. Uh, we got a little medium petrol tank there. Uh, this shed is an Alma, Missouri modded garage shed, and we got our John Deere Gators in it, the uh, 4x2s. Uh, this one's got the fuel deposit, and then this one over here's got a water deposit, or a liquid trailer. So that's that, and then over here we have our TLX 3500s, we got the unrealistic dumper, we got the unrealistic tanker, and we got the normal... Uh, gooseneck body. That's that. Come over here. We got the wind pump that we started off with. I'm pretty sure that gives you water. I'm not really certain on that. I don't really remember. Anyways, uh, we also have a chicken pasture that I did in place. So we started off with this as well. And it holds a thousand chickens. So decent. Uh, this workshop shed here I did place and we got our John Deere's. We got the John Deere 8R 410 and I believe this is like mad horsepower. Yeah, 550 horsepower so it's a bit chip tuned. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very nice. And we got a built in weight and I think wides and weights on that one and uh, narrows on dual narrows all around on this one. Uh, we also got a front loader with uh, the, I think it's the unrealistic capacity, um, let me just see, right quick, oh shit, um, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, it, it's gotta be, um, and then we got the John Deere 7930, uh, this is also a modded one, and it's got the front loader and the wides and weights, and yeah. Uh, then we got a Pottinger weeder, we got the SP 10 meter plow, and then we got the New Holland L2 L218 skid steer with uh, a bale spike, a, uh, a John Deere bucket that holds 1500 liters, and a pallet fork. So that is that. That's everything there. Uh, we got a just a base game drive-through shed here. 
with our uh, Colossus Draper headers. And the Colossus actually did get an update, I think, today or yesterday. I don't know. I didn't play yesterday. I was kind of feeling under the weather. Um, still am. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool, I got to say. They did do a massive overhaul on this mod. And they added a bunch of things. Uh, let me just see here. All right, so they added uh, two loading wagons. Uh, this one holds 57,000 liters. It goes 25K an hour. Uh, 300 horsepower is required and 16 slots. Um, and then we got a, another one here that's 161K per hour. Holds up to 5 million liters, 50 million liters, I don't know. And yeah, it's also 16 slots and 300 horsepower and then you, they added a stone scraper uh it's 200 horsepower required this one holds 5,000 liters 2.4 meter spread eight slots 20k per hour working speed and then they added another one which is 81k per hour working speed 2.4 meter spread eight slots and holds up to 5 million liters 500,000 liters maybe i forget um, and they also added a mower header for the uh, Colossus Forage Harvester. Um, so we got the standard one here, 6.2 meter spread, 20k per hour. And then you got another one, 6. Point, or this one does all the crops, like all the standard base game crops, but it's just like a mower header. And then this one actually does grass. The grass version is 6.2 meters, 20k per hour. And then they got the unrealistic one, 73k per hour, 6.2 meter spread. And yeah, that's everything they added, I think. So yeah, jeez, a lot of stuff to go over. It sucks when I take a day off. It sucks even more when I take two. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is the Draper header. It just goes 17k, and then the corn header also goes 17k. And it is in puke, uh, puke cloth color, so... We do have a Kloss Combine. Uh, then we got a TLX Phoenix uh, heavy haul truck with the uh, GAL trailer, the American version. And then we got another step deck trailer here that will auto load bales. And I totally forgot about this shit over here that's kind of hiding behind the chicken coop. And in it, this is the Alma, Missouri modded workshop. And we got the 4940 spreader with dually narrows, and number one, and then number two is the sprayer, and we also had dualies, dual narrows all around. And then we got the Challenger muck spreader that will hold the unrealistic capacity. I forget how much it is. Uh, we got the cow barn here that we started off with, and all the frickin' bales in there still. Um, this holds 500 cows, so yeah. Just go around it. <laughs> a lot of bales you start off, I gotta say. I kinda like it. Um, anyways, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go this way actually. Uh, we got an Elma, Missouri modded herbicide buy point, I think it is. And then we got a liquid fertilizer buy point as well. Uh, we got a storage bale, uh, storage shed for bales and pallets here. Just the base game one. We got the grain quid 20 million liter silo there. We got the sheep barn that we started off with that holds 300 shit. Um, we got the horse pasture over here. I think it holds 16 horses. We got a little water well here. Give us free water because I don't know if the pump does. And we have a buying station for liquids right here as well. Uh, Multi-fruit uh, buying station right there. And the American drive through shed with the fuel tank to the side. And in it, we got all our TLX Phoenix X2s. Uh, this one will auto-load pallets. This one will auto-load bales. This one is the unrealistic tanker. And this is the unrealistic dumper. Alright, and that is that. We got a workshop trigger right there, workshop bench. We got a pressure washer here and a little bunker silo. Decent sized bunker silo, medium sized bunker silo, I'd say. 
Uh, we got a buying station for seeds. This is an Elma, Missouri modded buying station thing. And we got a couple of easy base game sheds here. Uh, this one we got our canine dozer blade. Uh, we got our Colossus root cart. Uh, and I gotta say, uh, oh, construction simulator got updated. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, when uh, I did update the Colossus, I didn't have to change all my colors up for everything that I own that was Colossus modded. So that was one thing that I did find awesome. So thank, thank you to the modder that did that. I, I'm very grateful for that. I have 10, mo 10 maps, and pretty much all of them have your mods. So basically... 10 maps I would have had to re freaking do all the colors for all that stuff so yeah thank god anyways uh, we got the John Deere speed disc uh, high performance disc and this requires a lot of horsepower uh, we got the uh, lizard multi roller uh, field roller and it's just massive we got the stone picker trailer um, we do have the Kinsey modded multi fruit planter and over here we got more sheds. Uh, we got the Crone Swadro 2000 uh, Wind Rover. Uh, we got the Lizard Tardis XL Loading Wagon. We got the John Deere Square Baler. We got the Bale Wrapper. That's part of a mower mod. And we got the Fent Tedder and our Gooseneck. Yeah, that's that. And then we got another workshop shed here. Elma, Missouri modded one with our Lizard Colossus Combine and Coloss Colors and it will hold 72,000 something liters. That fire extinguisher was there? I don't remember that being there. Huh. It looks like they gave it a nice overhaul a bit. Not gonna lie. Looks decent. Nice. Come on, it says Lexion there? Where is it? I swear it's at Lexion somewhere. Oh no, it's the lizard. Okay. Tripping. Alright, uh, anyways, we got the John Deere 9R with big freaking Minnesota fatties and uh, built in weight. And yeah, massive. <laughs> uh, and then we got the TLX 3500 with the unrealistic mixer that holds 50,000 liters. And that is everything to show you at the main farm, I believe. Oh. So let's uh, give you a little fly over doodle. Yeah, I gotta say this farm is uh, looking really nice. I think this might be one of my best setups yet. Everything is just nice and like where it should be and it's in a good spot. Last time it was a little bumpy in certain areas. The only bump I think was like around here, but honestly it wasn't too noticeable either. So yeah, it looks really nice. Really nice. Got the farmhouse over here. Oh, I could put some more grass over here, but that's alright. Don't really care. Yeah, looking good. I like this main farm. I like the layout of it. It's easy to set up to be honest. I like this farm. All right, and that is everything to show you here. So we'll jump over to our slurry farm now, since that is where all of our other stuff is. Um, we do have an Alma, Missouri modded house here that I did in place, and some decoration play, playground and a bench there. Uh, this I did place. Uh, it was kind of sketchy and a little bumpy here. Um, nothing in here, I believe. Nope. Um, and I don't think there is, oh yeah there is, there's two things in here. We got our Lizard Apache 1958, and that has the gooseneck, and then we also got our John Deere 445 riding lawnmower with a front loader. Yeah. So yeah, I think a front loader only holds like 360 liters or something. Holy freaking bump there, I did not notice that. Oopsie poopsie. Just uh, fix that up a bit. Oopsie poopsie. I remember I just placed that actually not too long ago. And then, yeah, I didn't really. I've been rushing to get all these done. Not gonna lie. Freaking 10 farms to set up it takes a while. It takes a while. Uh, but, anyways, we got uh, three large beehives and a honey pallet storage rack here. 
Uh, then we got a large B or <laughs> large greenhouse, but this is an Alma, Missouri modded greenhouse fruits that will do lemon, oranges, pineapples, and apples. That's pretty cool. So that's that. And I think it needs manure here as well. It's a little bumpy here. Um, let's see, I didn't save it yet, so let me just. Uh, Uh, how much are they doing with it? Alright, let me just save it quick. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, let's go today. It would be nice. Alright. So yeah, that is that. Uh, and then over here we got a uh, fuel tank. Large one. Then we got our modern pig barn that holds 450 pigs. I don't think we have any piggies yet. No. So that uh, we got another water well here that will give us free water. We got a buying station for liquids, and we got a storage shed for bales, mainly for bales. But we'll also put some pallets in there too from the honey and greenhouses. Uh, over here we got a multi-fruit buying station. Uh, we got a large base game greenhouse. I believe this one just yeah does the tomatoes and. Oh, it also does pumpkins. Cool. Alright, cool. Coolio. And then we got our other cow barn here that I did in place. Uh, I believe this one holds 300 cows, so we can have 800 in total. Not bad. Uh, and then we got another 20 million liter grain quid silo there. And a American barn shed here with our lawn care tipper gooseneck. Our Crone Big M modded mower and our JCB telehandler with a bale spike. Alright, and that I believe is everything to show you here. Where's the pressure washer? Did I, did I get rid of it and not put it back? This sword is like right here. Oh, now it is. Alrighty, and I'll give you a little flyover. Yeah, we got a little road behind here to go around it. It's a little bumpy in areas over here, but honestly, we're not going to be coming over here too much other than to feed the cows and the pigs and to do some mowing and stuff, so. Yeah. So I guess we'll be coming over here a lot. <laughs> uh, this area here is a little bumpy, but we'll just go slow. <laughs> Put like a stop sign here or something. Alright, anyways, that's everything to show you here. And then finally, we'll jump over to the uh, production farm. And we do have a Elm, Missouri modded house that we started off with that I didn't place. And this shed here has nothing in it. I also didn't place it. Uh, we'll come down here to the stuff I did place. And we've got a fuel tank. Uh, we got a empty barn shed, I believe. Yes, it is empty. And yeah, we'll bring our freaking tele or wheel loader, front loader or whatever the hell. Get a wheel loader or something. Uh, anyways, we got the Elmo Missouri modded fermenting silo production here. So. Yeah, can make methane. Methane. A uh, little bump there. God damn it. I hate bumps. I hate them. This game is the worst of them. Like, ni I thought 19 was bad. I did nothing, it feels like. I literally did nothing. Why does it do nothing? I'm telling you to soften it. Lower. Soften. Why? <sighs> uh, okay, whatever. I don't care. It's gonna be bumpy there. 
Anyways, we got a Elma, Missouri modded farm silo. I believe this holds... Fuck, how much does this hold? 400,000 liters. That's it? Jeez. Why did I place it? Anyways, uh, we got a lime production here, so we are gonna have to travel to do lime, but that's all right. And we got three more bunker silos, and these are decent size, so we will get a decent amount of silage in there. But yeah, that's everything to show you here, I believe. And we'll just give you a little flyover. All right, and that is pretty much gonna do it for today. Yeah, decent. Again, a little bumpy, but not much I can do with it, as you can see. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's going to do it for today, though. So, tune in next episode, where we will be back at Big... F or, sorry, Alone in the World for epi or a John Deere map tour. And then after that, it'll be Big Flats, Texas for a John Deere map tour. And then Snow Runner episode 20, and then Fox Farms, New American, and Piney Run for a John Deere map tour. And then Truck Driver, American Dream for episode 13, The Mythical Woods, and Weimar Canada for a John Deere map tour. And then Truck Driver for episode 20. So, till next time, OCD Farming signing out. Uh, peace out.